what's going on guys welcome back to another video if you're new to the channel i'm siddu the barber today we're bringing you guys a beer tutorial i will leave a link in the description for all the products that we're using in this video quick shout out to cams for producing this video too uh, leave a like if you enjoy the video comment if you have something to say subscribe if you're not already and turn on the notification bell so you'll never miss another video new videos every thursday so just putting the next strip on bro and then obviously the cape too which is right here Yeah, so quick shout out to my boy Amin as well for being a good sport and letting me use him as a model for this video. He's blessed man to have such a nice full beard, but as you can tell he's looking a bit rough, so we're going to line him up. I like to begin all my lineups by combing the hair through. Lineups or haircuts it doesn't matter because you want to see the hair at its full potential and take out all the knots or whatever might be in there. He is a pretty coarse, uh, dense beard too, so yeah, I combed it out. You should too. After that, I grab my gold Babyliss trimmers and what I like to do before I do any beard is get the side panels out because think about it, if you buy artwork, you buy a frame too, right? His beard is the art and uh, I'm just framing it so it won't look out of place. These, uh, these trimmers are hitters, man. I got them zero gap too, so I always got to remember not to apply too much pressure. And you want to brush off your clients too after every few strokes because think about it, if that's you in the chair, you want to be comfortable too. Again, combing it out, and as you can see, there's a bunch of overhang, at which point I like to bring in my shears to get it um, through. I like to go more than once. Uh, I suggest you guys go more than once too, because there will always be overhang. And if someone's coming to you for a lineup or any service, you want to make it as great as it possibly can be. As you can see, I grab my trimmers again, because I wasn't satisfied with the lineup near the ear. And you know, you gotta keep your clans sharp, man. Crispy. Ready to go on the go. And then here, as you can see, I'm kind of clearing out uh, the rest of the side panel after I made the outline for the frame. And then I think I do follow it through with a razor. Let's see. I do, yeah. So quick, uh, quick tip. Especially in this area, it is a very sensitive area. Very easy to nick or cut somebody. So you want to be extra sure to stretch the skin. Which, uh, the opposite direction of... Uh, where your strokes are going and I'm just clearing it here all the way I will come back and revisit it but it's just for now you know you gotta you gotta get through the foundation as quickly as you can so you can come back in detail even if you're detailing a beard lineup all right so as you guys can tell his beard was lowered a bit I don't know maybe by the last barber maybe by him and so here we're just having a consultation which is very important because if there's no consultation, you might give your clients something that they might not want. So we're just talking about it and uh, what to do with the, the, new, the new stubble, the overgrowth. Uh, I think the conclusion we came to was we'll just line up the, the, new, the new growth and see where that goes. And yeah, we fast forwarded it for you guys too, so it wouldn't be too boring. Uh, I think we did end up lowering it because he was like, that looks kind of goofy. It wasn't the look for him. And you know, this guy, he's always doing something so he can't go into public looking goofy. Yeah, so just lowering it some more back to where it was. I'm sure like when he's when he has nothing in the plans for a week or so, he'll grow it out. But busy guy. And I am brushing it too. And by the cheek area, you do want to ask your clients to blow a bubble because if you don't, you're going to, and you try to do it just normally by stretching the skin and not having your clients blow a bubble, you will end up lowering the beard because it'll never look straight. That's why you need them to blow a bubble. Pro tip for you guys, if you didn't know. I'm just revisiting the lineup, gently tapping, stretching the skin. And at this point, I do grab my comb again, which I can't stress enough how important combing your client's beard or hair out is when you're, you know, cutting. Just combing it out near the end. Uh, we were going for a square shape on the bottom. Especially when you're doing like big beards like his is. You want to you wanna definitely shape it a little bit. You know the silhouette's very important to the beard lineup. And I go back here a couple times. Readjust my hand. Uh, this can be very scary in the beginning because you don't want to take off too much of their beard. But my suggestion is just uh, light strokes. And don't go too deep. Don't go too fast. It's, it's a marathon, not a race. That side's done for now. Uh, this other side, we're just going to show you quick before and after because it's pretty much the same stuff that I use on the other side. And here's the before. 
and then uh, I did the I did the lineup. Now you can see me coming with the shears, getting the straight hairs. This is very, very, very important. This will set you apart from a lot of other barbers, and clients appreciate this. It makes your look, uh, it makes your work look better, and who doesn't want their work to be good? Here I'm just raising the mustache, quick backhand technique, forehand, getting both sides obviously. You want to be super careful here because this is a super sensitive area for 99% of people, me included. Uh, it's very easy to cut somebody here. And you know, just if I see something in the lineup that I wasn't happy with, going back. This is super important too. Shears are super important. Cam's goofing around, man, recording me and stuff. But uh, what I was doing there was getting all the hairs that were sticking out after I combed it. Anyways, YouTube, this is how my boy came in looking. A little bit rough, needed some help, and we got him some help. Uh, that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, like I said before. New videos every week. I'll catch you guys on the next one.